Hello Aquarius and welcome to your guys' weekly love reading. This is going to be for the 19th through the 26th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius. All right. So pick a side. Your energy will be uh, a pull from both energies and whatever side you resonate is you. The other side is whoever you are dealing with. you guys your overall um central issue or theme is a death in reverse clarified by the queen of cups all right yeah so you guys are um coming to a time of transformation All right, six of wands in reverse. So one of you is feeling like you're just definitely defeated. You're overwhelmed. Um, you have a lot of love and emotion for this person, but you're refusing to move forward, whether that be with them or, or without them. You also feel like um, there's no end to, to whatever it is that you're going through. The other person is also lacking strength and courage here. Um, they're fearful, fearful that the situation has control of them and they're not going to be able to let it go. Oh, wow. Aquarius, there you are. Showed up. Um, you guys are, are going to find yourselves again. You're going to find your balance, find your inner peace um, after you release this relationship and or whether you guys could be in separation but you have a lot of love for this person that there's no doubt about that with the queen of cups and the star but you have to go through this uh transition period you have to go through this uh transformation and and purging and get everything out of uh the way that is standing between you and your wish between you and everything that you want I do see, though, however, you do find balance here with uh, you coming into your own card. The person that you are dealing with uh, could possibly have had a third party. Um, if they did, you guys know about this. So this is not something that is new information. Um, could have been with an earth sign um, or they are spending too much time at work. They're not focusing on anything but... Ooh. All right. You guys also have the seven of swords. So you're um, sneaking around in the dark with somebody. Uh, and it's right under somebody's nose is what I just heard. Yeah. And the other person, uh, they. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. This person. um. They no longer want this just to be a one night stand or uh, a fling. They want this to move to the next level. Um, you could possibly be uh, risking the loss of your family or, you know, your, if you are the one with the third party, um, they are either walking away from their, you know, their spouse, children, home, whatever, um, to be with you or you to be with them. Or they they are losing their family. So one of one of the two of you, whoa, um, is walking away from their family to be with this other person. But you have to um, go through this rebirth before it's going to come into fruition. So if you're in separation from somebody, waiting for them to leave their um, partner um, to come towards you. Uh, you have to go through this, this process first. You can't skip over this rebirth process. All right. The other side. Prince of Swords. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this person is no longer um, in search of anybody else. They want this person. 
Um, they want the, the cheating energy to be over. They, they want to heal from being the third party or from having the third party and get out of that, uh, that energy that surrounds it and go back to having a pure, you know, to making this into a pure relationship. I do see that happening with the Empress here. This relationship will get off the ground. If you're waiting for someone in separation, um, when the stars align, this is going to get off the ground, but you have to shed who you are now and become that Empress energy. Yeah. So this person needs to find some grounding. They have to heal from uh, past relationships, past hurts, uh, family hurts, I'm hearing. And this person has to go through the spiritual rebirth process. They have to come in out of the cold. They have to acknowledge their feelings. They have to shed um, the hurt of the past and, and find themselves again, which this most definitely uh, will, you will find yourself again, Aquarius. And then this will come in the upright when the two of you come back together. Um, you just guys, you guys got a lot of, um, inner work. Well, not a lot, but you guys have some inner work to be done. And then, um, this can move into a new level. Your angel cards express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and engagement. Your love life will ascend to a higher level of commitment. So um, if you're calling in a soulmate, if you're calling in true love, if you're single, um, it is, it's time to um, continue to keep finding yourself. This is beautiful energy. Um, this is an amazing read. It may not sound like it, but um, the energy here is just very positive. Um, finding yourself, finding who you truly are, finding your soul's purpose. That's what your next call to action needs to be. You felt unsuccessful in the past because um, this person could have uh, walked away from you or you uh, from them or there was cheating um, between people. But in the end, it's made you who you are and it's going to develop you into the beautiful uh, soul that you are meant to be here on earth. And it will give you the Ten of Pentacles as soon as you put in that work. So keep an open mind if you're calling somebody in. Um, for those of you who are already in a relationship or um, starting to come back together, uh, make the romantic gesture. Never go a day without telling the people you love how much they mean to you. And engagement. For those of you who are not married, this will move into a, uh, a marriage. <clears throat> All right. For your advice card, you guys have the High Lady of Love and Compassion. So, um, I always like to give credit to the author. This is Colette Barrett reads cards. Very first card of the deck. She does an amazing job of, uh, of with these cards. It's just saying when the high lady, um, of love and compassion chooses to be, uh, in your life, come to your aid. She's bringing you a very, very, very deep and meaningful message. So she wants you to listen and she reminds you that only love is real. It's the sole unconditional and true power behind all means of manifestation. So love's greatest creative power is ignited by just your conscious action of compassion. Don't forget to be generous. Uh, your gener generosity of the heart, your reverence, your respect, your empathy, your sympathy. Um, all those things are going to bring just profound power to you guys this week. So Live a life of happiness and contentment. Don't settle for less. Um, go after what you want. Express your love. Because love, compassion, and kindness to everybody, to all, must be the impulse behind your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, when your intention is to create a prosperous and abundant life. Um, and then in turn, unconditional love will come back to you tenfold. Uh, it's also wanting to remind you she is going to be bringing you proof that you are loved, evidence, um, you, in the manner of synchronicities. So be watching for those synchronicities because they're all going to align in your favor. Uh, yeah, they're also wanting you to think about the other person. 
Um, think about your situation, what's going on. And if, if it's in their highest good, you know, give selflessly without asking for, for anything or expecting anything in return and just let go because what's yours will come to you. And kindness always returns somehow, always what you put back or put out, you get back. So, um, you will receive what you give out this week. So, Make sure you're just giving out nothing but positivity and love and compassion for, for other people. All right, Aquarius, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Just, you guys are uh, resisting something, you're resisting some kind of change. But when you allow that transformation, you are going to uh, find yourself again. And who doesn't want to be the queen of cups and the empress? amazing energy for you guys this week. So, all right, guys, I will see you next time. Thank you for supporting my channel and coming and watching my videos. I appreciate and love you all. God bless.